like like take me through the tackle yeah. what you saw yeah. um because to me you call him andre the giant right yeah. he's a big lad he is a big dude he's he's a massive yeah. guy and in that moment when i saw it it's almost as though he couldn't go low enough yeah. Because we saw the Portugal guys. They are a little bit smaller than the South Africans. Yeah. Do you believe it was a red card? Look, World Rugby has been big in terms mm. of um, uh, player safety. And, and I think that's the one thing that the sport perhaps suffered in the past, that uh, it's not appealing enough to the younger audience in terms of a sport that they, they'd want to play, especially uh, people who don't really want to get hurt. Mm. And, and I think rugby has been advertised as a sport that, that brings you know fatal injuries or physical injuries that are long-term and all of that. And I think these are some of the mitigating things that uh, World Rugby is trying to, to root out of the game. You know, and and I think one of them is is the the high tackle. Mm. You know, the high tackle head shots. Uh, the head is a very sensitive part of the body. Hence, they say anything from the shoulders mm. going up is a no no. And know? there was contact <laughs> between his face and 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 the so, player from Portugal. So a few years ago, you could probably get away with with hitting somebody on the shoulder and wrapping them around. Mm. Uh, they used to call it a hanger tackle, mm. you know. You could probably get away with it, but nowadays you can't. And, and that literally forces the player to, to move down into mm. the torso. So anything from here going down is, is perfect, you know. And, and now that hit, um, you know, uh, almost moved the Portuguese player into a whiplash position, yeah. which is very, very dangerous.